Letters from God and His Christ, Volume 7 I will defend my people, Israel. May 31st, 2010 From God the Father, and Yahushua, HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior. The Lord's words spoken to Timothy during an online conversation with a brother in Christ. For all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord God, I will defend my people Israel, and take vengeance upon my enemies. For my own name's sake will I do it, and for my servant David's sake shall it be done, and thereafter shall my witnesses be sent into battle. For behold, I have only just begun to speak, says the Lord of hosts. I have only just begun to reveal the power of the Lord. I have only just begun to reveal my anger. Yet if it were not for the sake of a remnant among those yet to be called, and for the sake of my name in Israel, that it may be glorified, I would have destroyed the enemies of Israel already, blotting them from the face of the whole earth. Thus I have withheld my hand, and have not yet taken vengeance upon my enemies. Yet I shall not withhold my hand for much longer neither shall my wrath tarry. For I shall surely stretch out my hand and strike the nations, and the slaughter shall be very great. Many ten thousands shall fall in one day, a great destruction even of all their devices. For the Lord God shall come out against them mightily, very dreadful in battle. With a terrible destruction shall I be glorified in my strength, and the slaughter shall be great, a slaughter which has never been seen in Israel, slaughter of such a kind, causing all in the earth to tremble. And those who hear of it, even their ears will tingle, with their hearts skipping a beat within their chests. Then they will know, I am the Lord, when I have magnified myself in the land of Israel when I have shaken the mountains of Israel with my presence. Yea, in the hearts of many shall my name be hallowed on that day. Behold, I shall lift up an ensign to all nations. It shall be forged with fire and painted with the blood of mighty men, with the smoke thereof rising to heaven. For I was there when my people were slaughtered, I was with each one as they breathed their last. I was with them in their torment. I shared in their agony. I endured their pain and their anguish. I knew. We did weep together. Indeed, I had handed them over and scattered them amongst the nations, and this at their own request. For their forefathers had sworn it, and throughout their generations they have upheld it. Therefore was my anger kindled against them. Thus did I drive them out and scatter them amongst the nations. Bitter enmity, great sadness. Yet I did not hold on to my anger forever, and my love never departed from them, neither did I forsake them in their trials. Behold, I was there at the end of their tribulations, for they did behold my face as they fell asleep. And now the time has come, the time of vengeance is very near, and I shall surely repay. Great calamity shall increase and come forth from every corner, and many ten thousands shall fall. Multitudes will lie down on every side, and many will fear. Behold, a great wailing shall be heard from one end of the earth to the other, and many will turn against me. Even among the flocks called by my own name shall there be many who turn away and mock my promises. Thus that which is written shall be fulfilled. Even some from among this little flock will fall away, saying within themselves, Where? is the promise of his coming. Yet you, my sons, 
don't you fall away. Hold fast. Set your foundations upon the rock. Fix your eyes upon your king. Set your shoulders straight and stand fast in battle array. For the Holy One is coming down to you. At a day you do not expect him, and at an hour you are not looking for him. And in you shall he dwell fully, with his glory shown in your gaze, and with his strength revealed in the words of your mouth, which shall be your sword. Behold, his presence shall overshadow you, and his glory shall be your shield. And by the power of his might shall you perform his will, doing great and mighty exploits in his name. Therefore, prepare and make ready, for it is time. Now consider this, even as I had spoken it through my servant, called Beloved. Yea, ponder it, and also receive it. By good works you will not find me, yet good works are found in me. And by my works shall you begin to know me, for my works shall be done in you. Yet understand this also. Where human power is, pride follows close behind. Yet one who surrenders to the Lord will be given eagle's wings. Yea, nothing shall be impossible for them. For I shall be with them and in them, says the Lord. For in that day, wheresoever I am, will my servants be also. And wheresoever I go, my servants will follow. And whatsoever I decree will be done in an instant. And those who are chosen to serve will go for me without hesitation. And that which I speak in this place will be heard in another. And no more shall my servants be restrained by any means, declares the Lord. For it is I, the King of glory, who has spoken it.